Hey y'all, it's Whitney Nicely. I am at my favorite store, and yes, it is seven o'clock in the morning, and yes, I did just leave the gym. And let me tell you, okay, so I got lots of tipping, uh, flipping tips on this little show, and what I'm trying to gauge is whether or not you like seeing like the day-to-day -day stuff, what I'm actually doing, what I'm actually looking at, because pictures are one thing, but following me around and like really getting to know what I'm doing, that's a totally different thing, okay? So I'm at my favorite store, and you'll probably be able to guess what that is here in just a second oh let me turn my volume off in case people try to call go down okay so today I'm flipping a house in Talbot and I'm mostly hey there good morning um we're changing out the doorknobs today okay the painters are there and while the painters are painting they take all the old doorknobs off y'all I hate brass doorknobs I don't even know why they're allowed to sell those things if you have brass doorknobs in your house, they need to go as soon as possible. If I come in to buy your house, I'm getting rid of them. I don't care if you like them. I don't care if they're hypoallergenic or if they're actually the most uh, clean or I don't care what's going on. I don't like brass doorknobs. Okay, so we're at Lowe's and I'm going to show you what you look for when you start to flip a house. But the first thing is when the painters come in, they take off all the hardware, all the brass doorknobs. And it's your job to go get new hardware because they'll put the old ones back on or they'll put new ones back on. So you might as well let them put the new ones back on. Okay? So my Lowe's, I love my Lowe's. Oh, here, let me say one other thing before we get started shopping. The only acceptable time to go to Lowe's or Home Depot or Ace. Morning, how are you? Uh, okay? Yes, sir, I am. Welcome home. Thank you. <laughs> um, he said, welcome home, did you hear him? The only acceptable time to go to Lowe's or Sherwin-Williams or the hardware store or the granite store or wherever it is that you need to go that day in those errands, the only acceptable time to go is between 6 and 8 a.m. And the reason for that is because the dumbasses work at night. If you go at night, there's going to be... Out of, out of the 10 or 15 or 20 people here this morning that are working, they're all geniuses. They all know what they're talking about. You can ask anybody for help. They will know which aisle it's on. They'll know what to use. They'll know which size you really need, even though you asked for the wrong one. They will be able to help you. They're also willing to make deals early in the morning. The clearance section is on fire early in the morning. And if you're not shopping the clearance section, you're wasting money. If you're paying off the shelf retail price for light fixtures and appliances and all that other stuff, you're wasting tons and tons of money, okay? Now, I know the night shift, the afternoon shift, there's gotta be one or two people there that have a clue what's going on, but I'm telling you, the morning people all know what's going on, okay? So, let's go down the hardware aisle and get some doorknobs. Remember, you can only shop in the morning. If you're not ready to get up at 6 or 8 o'clock in the morning, and if you had a little work, that's fine. Lowe's is open at 6 and 7 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday. There's no excuses. Okay, so the first step down the hardware aisle, this is the expensive stuff. This is the stuff that you put in your house. We're not redoing our house here, guys. We're trying to make some money. So you just keep walking, 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 walking past all these pretty displays. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I do want to say that this is my favorite brand. Through trial and error, I'm shaking. I should have eaten a banana after I left the gym. Trial and error, this is where the money's at. Okay, and I think this is the Lowe's brand. If you're a Home Depot person, that's fine. They have a Home Depot brand. You can use that if you like Ace Hardware or if there's somewhere else that you like to get this kind of stuff, that's fine. But this is my video and this is what I like to get. So, on the front door, the front door is the only place that I'm going to allow you to spend money on hardware. The rest of it, we got to get the cheap, good stuff. Okay, and for the front door, I want, you can get... This is called a lever back, okay? Depending on which door you put this on, a dog can grab that and open it. A baby can grab that and open it, okay? So you want to be careful with that. I like these little twisties in my house, okay? Gosh, I'm shaking like a leaf, y'all. Okay, I like these little twisties, okay? 
So this is the set that I get. And I'll tell you, if you really want to spend some money, if this is like a really fancy house, go ahead and get one of those combo locks. Oh, never mind. They're up front. They're at the front of the aisle. We're not going up there. Oh, no, here's one. They're 100 bucks. I hate keys. We've got 17 houses, 19 apartment units. I can't stand keys, okay? I can't keep up with them. I can't keep them labeled. The only thing that saves my tail are these. On a house that I plan on keeping, I put those puppies on it, okay? And I'll tell you what else is cool about these quick sets. Um, they have some, let me see if I can find them. Okay, see like this? You see that little bitty, bitty, bitty? Can you see that little bitty thing right there? These are called smart keys, okay? If your tenants lose the keys or they leave, you don't have to have a locksmith come out. You don't have to have your handyman come out and tear all this stuff apart or down there's this little bitty tiny key that goes in there you put the original key your original key in there put the little key in and then you can re-key this and see you can do it on this one too you can re-key it you don't need anything special to redo it it's amazing i don't know how to do it but lonnie does okay lonnie and steve know how to do it and they keep a master of all my keys they're my contractors they keep a master of everything so that if i need it rekey they can go and do it okay so i'm gonna get this for the front door and it's right here all right and then on the rest of all of these we're gonna keep walking on down the aisle you see all these shelves this is where you're gonna live not up there where it's pretty it's really pretty up there. You know what else is really pretty about it? The price tag. Okay? Come over here. And since we got just the basic doorknob, you can get... See, look how pretty this one is. This is like a little bitty knob. And what's really cool is, if you look on the back of this, on the back of this package, you see that number right there? 21940. That's the lock. See this one? That's the same. These keys, different packages, same lock. Dig back in here a little bit more. Oop, that one's different. Okay, that's 42633. But if I needed, let's say, three exterior door keys, I wouldn't get this one because there's only two of those. I would try to find the one with three of the same yellow numbers on the back. Isn't that cool? So now you don't have to go back up to the desk there and get them to key you. You can just go through all of these packages. See, there's two of these. If we hit a third one, this will be our guy. There we go. We got three of these for our exterior doors now. And I don't remember if we needed deadbolts or not. So we're going to take these three and then we'll find matching. See, here's the same knob, but with a deadbolt. So again, we're going to find three of these that match. Uh-oh, now I'm making a mess. Probably the ones in the box together have the same key. Okay, so 718, 718. 718. These three are the same with lock boxes. I mean, <laughs> dead bolts. So we're going to take these three because I don't remember if my outside doors need dead bolts or not. I should have taken better notes when I was at the house yesterday, shouldn't I? Okay. So now that we've picked this little, little bitty door knobby, we got to get interior bed and bath and let me tell you this says bed and bath on it that means you can lock it okay because if you have company over and they go to the bathroom they want to be able to lock it from the inside okay so they can have the privacy right but 
So that is blue and it says bed and bath. This one down here, it's the same knob, but it's for a hall and closet. It'll still turn, but it won't lock. And if you're one of those parents that are worried about the kids locking themselves in the room and you can't get in and blah, 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 just change out their doorknobs. Put a hall and closet knob on it. It's got all the parts and pieces. It'll actually turn, but they can't lock themselves in. Okay? And I'll tell you that when you come and you get all of these, or these get two extras if you actually go to the house and you say okay I need nine bed and bathroom doorknobs buy 11 if you need nine hall and closet doorknobs buy 11 because just because you think it needs something doesn't mean that your contractor or his helper are gonna put the right one on the right door and if they have some extras they can kind of play around and I mean the store that I'm standing in even if you open the package if all the parts are there they'll take it back if you don't open it you take it back okay and I'll tell you that I fuss at Jason every time we do a project because if he writes down that we need nine of these we're only getting nine of those and then sure as shit I'm heading to the store to get another one Okay, just buy two extras while you're there. Return the ones you don't need. All right, so, and now listen, y'all. I'm into this brushed, whatever this is. If you like this black looking stuff, if this is what you like, if this is what works in your area, buy it. They have it. It's right here. If you are convinced that these pretty lever backs are the only way to put doorknobs on, buy them that's fine look the price difference I'm getting these for $17.97 these are the same thing it's only three dollars more morning okay it's not a big difference if you want those get those if you want the ones like I'm getting get these I just like these I don't know why but I put these in the last couple houses that I've done and I just like them I think they're cute when they get in Okay, now somebody asked me earlier if when you're changing out the brass doorknobs, because I hate, hate, hate brass doorknobs, but usually when the contractor goes in, if it's a contractor build house, then if he put brass doorknobs on it, he probably put brass hinges on it. They should be right here. Here's some fancy hinges that you can get. And here's all the other hinges same aisle okay but you got to know look at these this is three points with a, a square edge a round edge an even rounder edge so if you're gonna replace the hinges bring an example with you do not wing that okay and also know that if there's two hinges on each door or if there's three hinges on each door or just ignore the hinges and leave them okay that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna ignore the hinges because I don't think people pay that much attention uh, for 236 a hinge that'll be like a hundred bucks in hinges and I don't think anybody's gonna notice one way or the other all right so flipping tips today we went over uh, doorware hardware uh, how to make sure that the kids aren't gonna lock themselves in the room and okay so speaking of hall and closet there should be a knobby here that doesn't turn it's like a fixed knob oh here's gatehouse you could use gatehouse too but i don't know if they have the smart key capabilities okay up top up top these are inactive knobbies okay so if you have something uh, like a closet door we have these at the lake and you just shut it and it's got uh, something at the top or the bottom where it just kind of um, it's not a magnet but it just like fits in there right then you probably just need a steady inactive knob and they have all the inactive knobs see here's this one this is the one that I'll get because it matches the rest of the set that I've been working with today so this is where you're gonna live 
in this part of the hardware aisle. Probably have the same stuff down there, but instead of $17 or $20, it's probably going to be $22 or $25. And after you get 10 or 15 or 20 knobs, that starts to add up. All right. So if you have any questions, let me know. But mostly, I really want you to remember this. If you're going to be flipping houses, you got to get here early. Early. You see, there's nobody here. It's just me. All right. If I need any help, like today I don't really need any help. I'm just getting doorknobs. But if you're new, you want to know how to flip, you go to these stores early, early, early in the morning because the people that are here right now know what they're doing. They probably have a, a background in construction. If you come at night, those people will probably just help their father-in-law every once in a while. They don't really know what they're talking about. There's one or two there at night that absolutely know what they're talking about, but you, they got a line of people ready to talk to them because every do-it-yourselfer is there and want to talk to them. You get your butt out of bed, get over here, and find out what you need to get the job done. Plus, you can pick up all the stuff, drop it by the job site, and then when you get home from work, when you go check on your contractors, it's all done. It's like magic. That's how you flip a house. All right, if you have any questions, leave me some comments. Let me know what you got going on. And if you like this, let me know that too. And I'll try to do more live in the field kind of stuff. And I'll try to eat a banana so I don't shake after the gym next time. Sorry, it's a little bit of a Blair Witch situation. All right, bye y'all. Have a great day. Happy investing.